Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome back to uh, continued coverage here of WW2K 18's My Career Mode. It's time uh, that we move forward to the promo part. Now, of course, it's the same type of thing as last year. You got a couple of choices. Your promo performance is up there in the top left corner of the screen, but this time, people, trust me, it is so, so much easier to put together a coherent promo. So there's three types of tones, confident, angry, and casual. And you'll start to see as you go along kind of what what sort of route you're taking with your promo. I can tell right here just by what he's saying, this is a takeover, prime blunderings. I'm obviously going for, for a, a very direct uh, promo. So I want the rest of my lines in the promo to go alongside with that. So what I did, and you'll see through this gameplay, is that I picked the ones that I felt still went with that same tone. And as you'll see, over time, the promo meter just goes up and up and up and up and up because I was able to choose the right one. So it's a lot easier to to string together a good promo because I think the the preview lines this year make it a little bit easier for you to figure out what kind of promo you're about to cut instead of, because last year it was like, the, the line could have been like, oh, I love everyone. And then you select that one and it's like, oh, I love everyone, psych, I'm the biggest heel. <laughs> and it was just flipping around on you and it was really hard to put together a good promo, but uh, as you can see by just the choices I'm making, the last word, that little blue meter means like that's, uh, I think that means like that's as high as your promo can get. So if I finish, I, I forget what it was, but either way, you see that, that meter was all the way full and I put together a pretty damn solid promo here in my early days in the Performance Center. If you guys missed part one, obviously you need to go back and watch it uh, so you can see the setup for my career, how you get started and everything. Uh, but we're basically just continuing on. You gotta go back, you can free roam a little bit, you can talk to the superstars, uh, but right now, the video is gonna dig it. Dusty would be proud, so that's a very nice thing to say. Having a chance to speak to the fans is great, or your enemies, don't forget. Good point, I can't wait to do this for real. Matt Bloom, a.k.a. Tensai, <laughs> is, is uh, you know, reiterating the importance of practice, blah, 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 blah. Get to know people around here, we will pick this up tomorrow. So, a successful couple first days for Mr. R.I.P. and Peace. <laughs> All right, and we're finally on to day two. So, we're gonna walk around, do a little more free roaming, and talk to some people. I kind of just want to see what these guys and gals are going to say. What's up? I like your hustle. You got places to go. I see in your eyes. And I say, it's like the man said, I'm not here to make, like I'm just being a real douche. And I'm like, come on, man. Don't be frozen that way. <laughs> like he's all offended. Like you, I just offended this giant man. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> let's keep it moving. So we continue on with the free roaming. Who's this over here? Oh, I think we got to talk, talk to Eric Young real quick. It, it's interesting. Seeing these guys like in their tap out clothes and <laughs> in the backstage, the performance center and stuff, it's really funny. Pretty fierce competition even here, especially with you. I think I'm starting to doubt myself. Yeah, that's something Eric Young would say. <laughs> I, I appreciate, here's what, here's what I'm thinking about this free roam stuff so far. And again, remember, I've only played like 45 minutes of this. So I don't know what happens as you get deeper and deeper into the career. I assume it's gonna expand pretty tremendously. I hope so anyway. Um. But I appreciate these little interactions and stuff. I just, I hope that they have substance as the game goes on. Cause there, right now there's no point for me to talk to Eric Young. There's no point for me to talk to Bobby Roode backstage. So I, I'm just hoping that as time goes on in career mode, uh, there's a reason that you have to talk to these people, right? Like there's some sort of stuff, uh, substance to it. Either way, it's time to hop back in the ring. A little more training going down. Uh, I forget which one this was. Okay, uh, you can interrupt certain grapples to carry your opponent. This one, as you'll see, I had a couple had a couple issues with <laughs> at first try because I was like holding the button down. I was like, wait, when am I supposed to press the R1 button? So basically, you can interrupt certain moves this year and just hold the person where they're at and initiate a carry. That is that is an incorrect way to do it, there, <laughs> Mister Mister P and P's. But I think on this one, I think third time's the charm. I think I do it right. I go into initiate. Uh, a grapple, looks like I'm gonna scoop slam, and then right there I hit R1, so now I hold him there. So I can hold him there a little bit, and I can just slam him down right from there. So this is basically the introduction to the carry system, which, honestly, I kinda like. I kinda like. You you grab him with uh, R1 and one of the directions on the right stick. So I think this is R1 and up. It's gonna put them in a powerbomb position, uh, so you can get 
in in a couple different positions. I think there's like a fi one's a fireman's carry, one's over the shoulder, one's a power bomb. I forget what the rest of them are. Um, but it's pretty cool. It, it's a pretty cool new addition. You know, is, is it going to be game changing and, and you know make everything a million times better? Probably not. But it's a decent enough advancement that I that I dig it. It feels pretty intuitive. <laughs> All these like, I love how they're like breaking the wall between video game and wrestling. They're like, oh, how does it? Oh, that felt intuitive. I don't think anyone would actually say that. Anywho, he wants me to speak with Matt Bloom again, but I see somebody over there in the corner. But I'm, okay, I'm sorry, I forgot what I did. I'm gonna pause it real quick. Just to give you guys a look at the pause menu, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and, and uh, use some of my available attribute points. As you see, I have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Wasting pretty much all of them, but uh, I used a decent amount, and that's only gonna bring me up to a 58 overall. So, I like that. It seems like this year, it's gonna be a little bit of a grind. Like, it's gonna be, you need to build your guy up from the ground up, as I'm changing this to Legend difficulty, I just need to test it out, I need to see how it's gonna be, and of course right there you can turn the show intros off in my career, thank the lord. Um, but yeah, it seems like it's gonna be more of a of a grind, you know, from the, from the bottom up, which again, I'm 100% cool with, because uh, going in with 104 overall character, like yeah, that's cool, but at the same time, it's also not bad to add some, a little bit of realism to it. Nikki Cross is not in the mood to talk as she sits here in her tap out tank top and sweatpants. I just, this is, <laughs> it's just so, it's so funny to see, uh, this to see some of these people like backstage in their, in their tap out gear and stuff. I went back to talk to her again just to see if any of the commentary, or the text, I should say, changes, and it does not. Now here, I kind of just wanted to walk around a little bit, see if there's anything else to interact with. Unfortunately, you can't get into the gym. You can't get a little pump on. You can't go into the lockers or anything like that. Uh, I see some equipment back there. I thought I saw a treadmill. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but we'll talk about that another time. So, yeah, I mean, NBA 2K has that. You know, you go into the gym and you can lift or you can squat. You can do that stuff. I mean, if there's any game that should have that, I feel like this is the game to have that. <laughs> but... Not this year, maybe next year, and let's go back and speak with Tensai once again. Also, I should note that right here, this is before I realized that you can run when you're doing free roam. Yes, you can run, and you can, and you can get where you're going a lot faster. I just hadn't discovered that yet. Oh, great, it's time to talk submissions. My favorite thing in the world as far as wrestling games go. Hanat, but... You'll be happy to know, folks, that the submission system this year is far more intuitive. Uh, it's the same exact um, submission system with the little pie circle pieces, but as you can see, I'm kind of just going back and forth trying to test, you know, the responsiveness, and honestly, look, 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 he actually went and got the bonus. So, the person on defense, Tommaso Ciampa, got, got the bonus, got the little orb, and I'm still able to make him tap out. So, and this is on Legend difficulty, as you saw me change the difficulty. So, that gives me hope. That gives me hope. It was a little more intuitive. I actually got him to tap out on the first try. There's also the button mashing one, which is not bad. It's it's a little improved over last year. Last year was just really, really weird. You had to like have a thumb of, like an Iron Man thumb. I don't know what the hell to call it. <laughs> but you had to be able to press it really, really fast. And this year I feel like it, there's a little more give to it. So submissions. Slight improvement, slight improvement, and, and I'm, I'm happy about that. So which submission, uh, submission control do you prefer? I'm gonna let them know I prefer option one. Again, breaking the, uh, the wall between video game and, and wrestling action here. All right, so that wraps up that day, and now we move forward. Day three at the Performance Center. Speak to Matt Bloom once again, Mr. P and Peace. Oh no, psych, I'm not talking to Matt. I'm gonna talk to Roddy Strong. Look at this, Roddy Strong backstage at the Performance Center. What's going on, buddy? What's happening? How you been? And I'm sure Roddy's gonna reply with like, a, you know, a great, some, some sort of great conversation. Oh, nope, one of our own is here today. The Baron himself. I don't know if he likes that name. But yeah, it's Baron Corbin. This is super cool. So... <laughs> so what we have here is Roddy Strong backstage at the Performance Center marking out over Baron Corbin. That's... I never thought that was a sentence I would say involving career mode. Anyway, I'm gonna just go in and follow my objectives real quick. Let's go speak to Matt Bloom, Baron Corbin in the ring. I'm about to beat that booty, or at least that's what was going on in my head. You're in for a treat. We're lucky enough to have one of the top WWE superstars here today. Who? Who? Where? <laughs> Baron Corbin's here. Uh, training for a big match upcoming pay-per-view. 
you know, he wants to show off one of his success stories, blah, blah, blah. And what am I gonna say? Of course, I'm gonna talk trash. I'm gonna say, enough about him. I'm worried about my damn self. That might have been, uh, that might have been a bad idea because what happens next? <laughs> what happens next is what we would call, ladies and gentlemen, unexpected. So I'm like, hey, okay, cool. I'm about to have a match with Baron Corbin. And at first, I didn't notice anything different. I'm like, yeah, I'm just having a match with Baron Corbin. It is what it is. You know, back and forth. Oh, I hit him. Oh, he's down on the ground. But then, folks, if you will, look at the bottom of your screen. Do you see Mr. R.I.P. in peace with the blinking negative yellow sign on my chest? And Mr. Corbin on the right side with the blinking plus green sign on his chest, already with a finisher. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a squash match, which will initiate every now and then randomly if a person of a very high overall is going against someone with a much, much lower overall. As you can see, I hit Baron Corbin a couple of times and his health meter is still full. And he hit me twice. Watch this, watch how much power I lose here. Look at this, look, this is a little, 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 little. look. Boom. What? <laughs> I lost an entire bar and a half. An entire bar and a half of health in this squash match. He's got another signature already. I think I reversed his attempt at a finisher once. I'm I'm delaying this squash match as much as possible. This should already be over in theory, but I'm getting some probably fairly lucky reversals in here to make this last a lot longer than it probably should have because look at my health now, all the way down. I pop up for a comeback. I can't do a damn thing with it. Belly to belly. R.I.P. and Peace is getting squashed right now. So this is basically just them showing off the new squash match uh, ability. I don't know, you can't really call it an ability. I don't know, randomly, randomly generated addition to the, I don't know what the hell you want to call it. But it, honestly, it is kind of cool. And once I realized what was happening, and I was like, oh, I'm getting squashed right now. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. That's actually pretty cool. I assume this could be very beneficial in, you know, universe mode and stuff like that. I'm not sure. There's probably not a way to manually make it happen. Uh, in fact, I'm, I think I'm 100% sure there's not a way to manually make it happen. But say you're doing a universe mode, you want to book something kind of funky, you know, you can drop someone's overall down. You can, you can, you know, download a James Ellsworth Kaw, since he's not in a damn game, <laughs> and put him down to a 50. You know, put him in there with AJ, and AJ most likely will, will probably squash him, something like that. So this could be very cool. Uh, in universe mode. I'm not really sure how it's gonna fit in. BAM! In career mode though, aside from right here. And look at this, one, still can't kick out. Two, it only gives you one kick out meter in the uh, in the squash match, which I dig very much. And Baron Corbin just, as expected, squashed me. So I went back to talk to Tensai and I'm like, bro, what, what was that? <laughs> oh, how are you feeling? I wanted to say like an ass hat, but I was like, you know what, let me see what it says. If I say completely hum, uh, completely humbled, because I took a turn here, I had a change of heart. Completely humbled. I don't belong on this level. R.I.P. in peace is starting to doubt himself, and Tensai is basically saying, "You're right. You don't belong here yet." What was he trying to teach me? Basically, that I should accept losing. That I should accept that whatever happens between those ropes, I got to deal with it. Win, lose, or draw, I suck it up. I work hard and I go back the next time. My lesson was possibility. Lights pouring down, anything can happen. That ring contains every possibility. So I have to prepare for every outcome. As I said, win, lose, anything in between. I'm pretty much a genius. Sure, and also know this, that nothing is possible when you're not in there. Uh, good advice. <laughs> so nothing can happen when you're not doing something. That is sound advice. You gotta fight to get in there, you gotta fight to stay, and you gotta fight to fight. Okay, I need to speak with whoever wrote the <laughs> whoever wrote the scripts, but it's fine. Let's keep it moving, keep progressing, and comes a time you can squash someone like Baron Corbin can. I'm looking forward to the day that I can squash someone the way Baron Corbin can. Seriously, already? He's telling me, listen, kid, you're ready to head to NXT. You show up backstage next week, and you'll be ready to go. You bet. So, folks, we are on the next. Uh, the next wave here, you've been awarded, look at this, my path starts here, trophy unlocked, and we are headed to week one, November 2018, NX freaking T. Your boy has made it, all right? We've graduated from the performance center. Look at this, backstage at NXT. So this is basically what every backstage area is gonna look like. I'm sure just the colors and the logos are gonna change up. 
Uh, but here you are backstage talking to Tensai. You're about to make your NXT television debut. So my strong advice, I can't wait. Think about how you want to create an impact. <laughs> he looks so excited. How do we go about doing that? You gotta decide what you want. You can focus on promos, you can call your opponent out, or you can take on high profile matches in order to prove that you're worthy. Outside those options, you can ambush your opponent and steal the advantage. So ultimately, it's your choice. So here's basically your main three options. Like how are you going to, how are you going to act for the most part during your career path? And I said, probably the standard answer, but showing my superiority in the ring. Talking is all well and good, but if you can't show it off in the ring, can't pick up the wins, does it really matter? I have to transform, I forget what he said. It's cyclical, you'll find. Take learning to the ring, then learn more out in the ring, when, then when you go to the ring, be the ring, and then become the ring, or something like that. <laughs> I'm, basically, I'm basically just skipping through the nonsense here, just trying to see what's coming next, but now, people, it's time to roam around this backstage area. Oh, look, there's a nice little sign. Wait, hold up. What does that say? Speak with Baron Blade. Holy God. Y'all really had to bring Baron Blade back. That could have been a danger family member. I'm just saying. But wait. Oh, who we got? Mm, dun, 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 dun. Let's do it. Hello, it's Peyton. Gonna talk to you now. Hello. Hey, girl, what's up, Peyton? How you doing? How you been? Look at all. Oh, this industry can be a tough one if you're on your own. If you ever need someone to look up to, look no further than Stephanie McMahon. That, and that was it. <laughs> so, so um, uh, I guess she's not interested because all she wanted to do was talk about her hero, Stephanie McMahon. And who is this? I'm actually not even sure who this is. I'm gonna go up and talk to Cheryl Lagman, who tells me good luck. Well, thank you, ma'am. That's very kind of you. I appreciate the the good luck. So this is obviously the parking lot area. You can fight back here. You can free roam back here. And uh, I'm gonna have a backstage brawl video, uh, video coming up for you guys very soon. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. It was a lot of fun showing off the new backstage things that you can interact with. It was actually really cool. Definitely an upgrade from last year. But I'm not even looking for the production area. Right I'm just trying to see what else is going on. Oh, is Amber a girl having a convo? Oh. Have you talked to other superstars in the back? It's good to connect with your fellow superstars. I agree, I'm trying to connect with you, but you trying to end the conversation, and okay, okay, I'm a little scared, but also feeling other things. Oh my goodness, look at the catering area. It's empty, there's no food. There's literally no food anywhere, but there's a vending machine. All right, Ember, oh, look at this random man. Oh, hey, I can talk to him too. <laughs> good luck out there tonight. Thank you, random gentleman. I didn't catch your name, but uh, once again, I appreciate you wishing me well. Everyone's so kind back here at NXT. So the seamstress and all that stuff is back there, but now then I started to notice, okay, hey, the uh, production area appears to be back here, back over by Tensai, and I'm just kind of looking around a little bit, trying to see what's going on. But I'll tell you what, man, in my limited time with career, everything I've played so far, I kind of like. I kind of like. Nothing is like, oh my god, blown me away yet. Obviously, I wouldn't expect it to right off the bat. But, I mean, the free roaming, interacting with people backstage. Look at it, I'm just going to the locker room. Talking about Razor, he looking all crazy. Looked like about to beat down a whole country. Like you just walk up there and people would just kneel. <laughs> Damn, I, I was trying to interact with stuff back here. Nah, I couldn't get the briefcase, nothing else. You can really only interact with other people. But people, right around this corner, Hang on, let me talk to this gentleman. Uh, another man who I have no idea, Chris Colby. Who? 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 You couldn't have put your boy in there? You couldn't have real people? <laughs> Anywho, let's move it. Let's move around the people right around that corner. You are about to have your your mind is about to explode. Right around that corner. It's none other. Not Hideo Itami. Oh my goodness! The man himself. Look at him. He's got a vest on. He's got the watch and a tie. He tried to clean himself up. Listen, Baron, you are still a jabroni. You are still a jabroni. And once the danger makes his debut here in career mode, I'm Tom, I'm all around, I'm great at everything. Me, I'm a megastar. Once the danger is here, you're not even gonna have a chance to speak to me. I'm gonna whoop that booty the second I see you, okay? It's, it's the never-ending fight forever cycle, danger v. blade. 
and it's continuing 2K18, people. I can't wait for that. So I don't know why they brought his jabroni ass back, but <laughs> go view the match card whiteboard. Sir, I'm, I gotta pee. No, that's where the bathroom is. Can I go pee? No, Vince told me not to let anyone back here. Wow. So not only do I have to fight uh, for the first time ever making my television debut, but I got a, I got a belly full of pee pee. And now, oh, I went to try to talk to Hideo. You're gonna hear a lot of different opinions. I'm gonna tell you that took, was something that took me a while to learn. Just do you. Hideo is telling me, listen, man, just stay focused. Don't worry about nobody else but you. Look at this match card. I like the whiteboard. This is the match card for me. You can strategize over how you want your night to proceed after you confirm your selections. So you can basically pick what you want to do is what it seems like. I'm not sure if you have to do all three of these or you're able to kind of choose what you want to do that night. Now, if you're able to choose as the career goes on, that's going to be huge because that it's, it's literally just finally giving you a choice over what to do instead of forcing you into these, you know, defend your title against Big E every pay-per-view. If it gives you more options and more stuff to do, man, that's huge right off the bat. So Bobby Roode versus R.I. P and P's. This is actually just a run-in. So I'm sitting here, right? I'm sitting here watching Bobby Roode's long ass entrance. And, and of course, it looks amazing, it looks great. But you can't attack him while he's on the spinny thing. And I was really disappointed about that. Cause look, the second he steps off, the run-in button pops up. And now Mr. R.I.P. and Peace can come up and attack Bobby Roode. Bam. I also like, I'm not sure if you can hear cause my loud ass, but the arena, the NXT arena also sounds like an NXT arena. Hang on. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it's it sounds like a smaller arena. All right, now unfortunately, we are wrapping up here in a few seconds because uh, about 10 seconds from right now, something really fun happened. There was a power surge. <laughs> so all of our systems, everything got turned off right here as I was in the middle of career mode part two. There it goes, bye-bye. It shut off right there. So that's all the career mode coverage I have for you as of right now. But of course, people, October 13th, 2017, okay? Friday, October 13th, 2017, WW2K18, my career mode episode one, featuring the danger debuts on the channel. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be phenomenal. This year is going to be awesome. Let's forget 2K17 ever happened and let's make this the best career year yet. People, hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can if you're excited about career mode. Subscribe to the channel. Turn those notifications on so you never miss an episode. I appreciate the support. You guys have been amazing and uh, it's 2K18 time, people. We're about to continue the takeover. Thank you for stopping by. Stay tuned for more. And I'll see you soon.